Okay, so here's the mechanism I've got for the sand drawing device. Um, I haven't got arm 2 attached up here yet, but this is arm 1. Uh, you can vary arm 1's length by slacking off these, and those are in slotted holes, so you can make the arm shorter or longer to get this belt tension right, if you don't have exactly a 278mm long belt. Um, likewise, these holes are slotted, so you can move the steppers in and out to get the belt tension right here. Um, so in terms of demeclature, this is shaft 1, that's shaft 2. This is the shaft 1 drive pulley, this is the shaft 2 drive pulley, this is the shaft 2 driven pulley. And yeah, as I mentioned before, that's arm 1 and arm 2 is not currently shown. Um, so the shaft 1 drive pulley is pinned to that shaft and arm 1 is pinned to that shaft as well. You can see there's a pin in there. And this uh, shaft 2 driven pulley will be pinned to the shaft as well. It's not currently. Um, Pinning to the shaft is kind of a pain in the bum because you've got to get it lined up and you've got to break a drill bit or two to get through, especially if you're using stainless steel shafts. Um, so I'm thinking it might be possible to reduce the number of times you have to drill through a shaft by redesigning this stack up here by having the gears attached directly to arm 1. So if arm 1 was printed with gears attached and then have the, that arm driven directly from a stepper. So the stepper belt goes directly to the arm which has a uh, pulley built into it. And then the stepper that drives the secondary shaft, which in this case is the right one, uh, sorry, the shaft 2, the stepper that drives shaft 2 um, will do so via shaft 1. So it'll be just as it is here where this stepper here is driving the shaft but on top here there will be a pulley that's pinned to the shaft which then goes across uh, a belt goes across and goes around another pulley that's part of shaft 2. Uh, so you have two arms that have pulleys built into them um, as opposed to doing it like this. This, this works um, and I don't think doing it any other way is going to get us any less height. Like a, a, a design constraint was trying to keep it as keep the stack as short as possible, but we are still limited by the width of those three belts, clearance for washers and such, the thickness of this arm which wouldn't change. Um, so if we were to cut out a little bit of space here, a little bit of space here, I think we'd still end up with the same height of stack. Um, so I, I don't think there's a really compelling reason to rearrange all of this. But as you can see, this right-hand stepper turns shaft 2, and that left-hand stepper turns shaft 1. So the idea is, um, with this arrangement with an arm on here, then this can spin around, and the other arm can spin around, and using uh, polar coordinates, well not necessarily polar coordinates, but using polar quaternions, I think. I'm going to have to break out a textbook to do the maths. But this will let us draw in a pretty big circle, I think. This arm is... where's my ruler? That arm's 100mm, give or take, and the other arm will be about the same length. Um, so we'll be able to draw anywhere in a 200 uh, radius circle, which is quite big. Um, okay, that's it. Bye-bye.